Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? So I tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guest and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, as you can gather, I have no guests today and this is a recorded meditation. But before we get into this guided meditation, which will give you the chance to get to know your chakras, I would like to say thank you for watching this show now at a later date. And it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. And if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women at crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform the present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I've also created a transformational journey to help you get in charge of your destiny. Now, each of the episodes of this show uh, normally covers various themes of your journey, uh, which is normally with the wisdom of my wonderful guests or through the channel guided meditations, which we're doing today. And I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy and I use angelic Reiki, future life progression, past life regression, meditation, angel cards and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny. Uh, now, if you're watching this live, well, if you're watching this now or at a later date, then please hit the like or love button as I love to see hearts and thumbs. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that um, you can be notified of when I post um, recordings for my shows. And please say hello in the comments box so that I know you know you've watched this. And also, please feel free to comment, ask questions, which I will answer as soon as I can. So please don't be shy. So today we're going to be doing the guided meditation on getting to know your chakras. Now, as you all know, um, we have seven main chakras, although we actually have lots and lots more chakras. But our seven main chakras are our base root chakra, our um, sacral chakra, our solar plexus chakra, our heart chakra, our throat chakra, our third eye chakra, and our crown chakra. And these have colors that are um, associated with them, red for the root chakra, orange for the sacral chakra, yellow for the solar plexus chakra, green for the heart chakra, blue for the throat chakra, indigo for the third I, sorry, third eye and violet for our crown chakra. Um, and as you can see, I kind of like pointed uh, where, where, where they are. So our root chakra is at the bottom of the spine where our tailbone is located. Our sacral chakra is um, about two inches below your belly button. Your solar plexus chakra is kind of like between um, the above your belly button and below your um, chest. Um, your heart chakra obviously is where your heart is, your throat chakra is where your throat is, your third eye chakra and your crown chakra. And a very basic meaning, and this is very basic because you can look online about the various chakras and it goes into much deeper things. The root chakra it basically is our foundation um, and us are feeling grounded. Um, our sacral chakra is our connection and ability to accept others and new experiences. Our solar plexus is our ability to be confident and in control of our lives. Um, our heart chakra is obviously our ability to love. Our throat uh, chakra is our ability to communicate. Our third eye chakra is our ability to focus on and see the bigger picture. And our crown chakra um, which is our ability to be connected to, to spirit. So they're the basic um, chakras and the various parts of the, of the body where they are. Um, now, they're the main colors, but when you actually go deep into um, your chakras, sometimes they're actually different colors to what, what is known and that's because they're your individual chakras and they speak to you in their own way so sometimes it's quite nice to actually go deep in and see if your chakras are a different color 
Um, I know mine, when I go into meditation, they can, they can be different colors at various times. So what this guided meditation is, is to take you deeper into your individual chakras and to, for you to see whether they're the main colors or if they're a different color and the feeling you get from that and basically the feeling you get, you know, how, how you can clear it. Um, so, so they're sort of like going to be the basic things we do. Now with all guided meditations, please make sure that you're comfortable, um, ideally seated. I mean, you can lie down, but if you're seated, you're less likely to fall asleep. Obviously not doing anything strenuous or operating machinery or driving. Although if you're watching a video and driving, that might be a little bit or um, a bit naughty. Um, and obviously make sure you're not disturbed, have some water with you. I mean, obviously because this is uh, recorded, you can pause now if you want and go and get some water, make sure your phones and everything switched off, which I'm just about to do because I just realized I haven't actually um, switch my phones off so I need to do that myself so it's a good reminder for you to actually do that and then as with all my guided meditations all you need to do is just close your eyes listen to my voice if you go where my journey takes you that's fine if you go somewhere different that's absolutely fine don't worry and if you find you don't get different colors for your chakras then don't worry because Whatever, whatever colour it sees, and if it's the colours that are normally associated, that is absolutely fine. It doesn't mean there's any right or wrong. This is just you going in to connect more with your chakras and see what they're saying to you. Um, and if you don't pick up anything, again, don't worry. Just see, just see the chakras spinning. Um, so if you're ready, I'll just take some water. So, if you're ready, just close your eyes. And as you do so, I would like you to take a deep breath in. And on the out breath, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. Take another deep breath in. And on the out breath, just let go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space. And just allow your breathing to become natural and flow as it normally does. Each in-breath relaxing you more and more. And each out-breath just letting go of anything that doesn't need to be in this space at this time. And now see, fully imagine or know, a beautiful golden light above your head. It's a beautiful golden light of peace and relaxation and can look, see, fully imagine any way you wish. And just allow this beautiful golden light to feed into your aura, the energy around you. Like the old Ready Break advert where you had that golden glow. And now just allow this beautiful golden energy to move into your physical body and just feel it seep in, filling every single cell and every membrane and every gap between every cell and every membrane of your body with this beautiful relaxing golden light. And you notice how relaxed you and wonderful you feel. And as you stare at the back of your eyelids, you find yourself relaxing more and more. Because as you think about relaxing, so you will relax. And now just allow your whole head to relax, your top of your head, your brow, your temples, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your mouth, your jaw feeling so wonderfully relaxed. As this relaxation moves down into your neck and you 
Feel all of your neck just relaxing. As this beautiful relaxing energy moves down into your shoulders. And you feel your shoulders totally relaxing. As this feeling of relaxation moves down your arms, all the way down your arms into your wrists, your hands and your fingers. Your arms feeling so heavy and relaxed. Now this feeling of relaxation moves into your upper body as you feel your chest relaxing, your stomach relaxing, the whole of your back relaxing and your spine relaxing, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. As this beautiful relaxing energy moves down into your hips and you feel your buttocks relax as you sink deeper into the chair. As this relaxation moves down into your pelvis, all the way down your legs, down to your feet and your toes. Your whole body is so wonderfully relaxed. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to see yourself at the top of a beautiful staircase. A beautiful staircase of 10 wide, comfortable steps that lead you down to a favorite place of safety and relaxation. And in a moment, we're going to take a step and go down these steps from 10 to 1. Each descending number relaxing you more and more. So if you're ready now, take a step off the top step. 10, going deeper down the stairs, 9. Deeper down the stairs, 8. Deeper down the stairs, seven. Deeper down the stairs, six. Each step feeling more and more relaxing than the last. Deeper down the stairs, five. Deeper down the stairs, four. Further down the stairs, three. Further down the stairs, two all the way down the stairs one and as you tap off the bottom step you step into a place of safety and relaxation it can be anywhere you know or even imagine and it can look see feel any way you wish whether it's indoors or outdoors this is your space of safety and relaxation where you can totally let go and be yourself without any worries and cares. And I'll just leave you for a moment to get a sense of this place of safety and relaxation. And now I want you to look down at your body or if it's easier, look at yourself in a mirror. And as you do, you see seven of your chakras, your base root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus chakra, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, 
and your crown chakra. And they may be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet or indigo. Or they may already look like different colors. But just set your concentration on your base root chakra. As you stare at your base root chakra, it may stay red or it may change to a different color. Just allow yourself to concentrate and center on this chakra. You can even say hello to your base root chakra. Get to know it. And as you connect with it, what color is it? What does it feel like to you? Does it feel bright or dull, smooth, rough? Just get a sense of how it feels and looks. And now just allow itself to spin clockwise. Watch it spinning clockwise. Just gaining energy, clearing out anything that may be blocking that chakra. You may get sensations feelings, you may see things shooting out, you may just know, but just allow the clearing to take place as this chakra spins in a clockwise direction. And if it's easier for you, just imagine that you're watching a washing machine spinning round. And now allow that chakra your base root chakra to slow down. And as you do, you know that it is cleared of anything that is keeping you stuck, not allowing you to be grounded or fully confident in yourself. And now, is it still the same color? Has it changed color? What does it now feel like? Is it brighter now? What sensations is it giving you? And now move up to your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra, which is two inches below your belly button. And have a look at this chakra. Is it orange or is it another color? And as you look at it, Get a sense of what it looks like or what it feels like.
Now start to watch your sacral chakra start to spin in a clockwise direction. Just allow it to spin faster and faster, clearing out anything that may be there that's blocking your connection and your ability to accept others and new experiences. And just get a sense of what is being released and cleared. Now, just slow your sacral chakra down. And as you do, is it still the same color or has it changed? Is it now brighter? What sensations is it giving you? What does it feel like? Just allow the information to come to you in any way it chooses. Now bring your attention up into your solar plexus chakra. Your solar plexus chakra, which is above your belly button and just below your chest. As you look at it, it may be yellow in color or it may be a different color. And this is your ability to be confident in the control of your life. So now as you get a sense of your solar plexus chakra, what color is it? What does it look like? What does it feel like? And now just watch and allow your solar plexus chakra to start spinning in a clockwise direction, faster and faster, clearing out any blocks that may be disrupting your ability to be confident and in control of your life, accepting your gut feeling. And just notice what's being released from your solar plexus as it just disappears into nothing. And now slow down that spin. And as you do so, notice what color the chakra is now. What does it feel like? How do you feel with it? Now bring your attention to your heart chakra. Your beautiful heart chakra, which is your ability to love. And it may be green in color, or it may be a different color. Just get a sense of 
what color it is for you. How does it feel? What does it look like? And now just watch and allow your heart chakra to start to spin in a clockwise direction, spinning faster and faster, releasing any blocks there that may be blocking your ability to love not just others but yourself and life. And notice what is being released, what is disappearing into nothingness. Now, just allow your heart chakra to slow down in its spinning. And as it does so, is it still the same color or has it changed color? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What sensations are you receiving from it? And now bring your attention to your throat chakra. And as you look at your throat chakra, it may be blue or it may be a different color. And this is your ability to communicate on a deeper level everything that you know is true or that you want to say. And as you look at your throat chakra, what color does it look like to you? What does it feel like? What sensations are you getting from it? Does it feel open? Does it feel tight? Do you feel like you need to cough? And now I want you to see and allow your throat chakra to start spinning in a clockwise direction. Just see, feel and imagine it spinning faster and faster. And as it does, see it spinning out any blocks that are stopping you from speaking your truth and communicating with the world. And now slow down the spin of your throat chakra. What color is it now? Is it the same color or has it changed? What does it now feel like? What sensations are you getting from it? And now move your attention up into your third eye chakra between your brows. And as you look at it, is it indigo or is it a different color? 
is his your ability to focus and see the bigger picture. And as you look at it and you connect with your third eye chakra, what colour is it? What does it look like? What does it feel like? And now see your third eye chakra start to spin, spin in a clockwise direction, going faster and faster and faster, spinning out anything that is stopping you from seeing the bigger picture. And now start to slow down your third eye chakra. And as you do, is it still the same colour or has it changed colour? What does it now look like? What does it feel like and what sensations are you getting from it? And now bring your attention to the top of your head, to your crown chakra. This is where you have your ability to connect with spirit, with source, with the universe. And is it violet in colour or is it a different colour? What does it look like to you? What does your crown chakra feel like? What sensations are you getting? Does it feel open, closed or something else? And now I want you to see your crown chakra Spinning in a clockwise direction, spinning faster and faster and faster, clearing out any blocks that may be blocking your ability to connect with spirit or source or your higher self or even the universe. To see all of that any of those blocks just being removed and becoming nothingness. And now slow your crown chakra down. And as you do so, is it the same colour or has it changed colour? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What sensations is it giving you? And now as you look at all your chakras, you notice that between them is a beautiful thread of connection. And this thread not only connects all your seven chakras, but it connects all your lower 
and your higher chakras. Just so see this beautiful thread of energy just extending below your root chakra, going all the way down, down, down into Mother Earth, into Gaia, going all the way down to the center of the earth. See this cord, it's connecting you to earth and going all the way up you through your chakras, all the way out of the top of your head, going higher and higher and higher, all the way into the universe, fully connecting you with source. Did you know that this thread allows all your chakras to work together, all working together to keep you fully centered and present, connected here on earth, but connected to the divine as well. Beautiful balance allowing you to be totally in the present, to live in the here and now, to the best of your ability, with clear focus and clarity. And I'll just leave you for a moment or two, just to really connect with your chakras and whatever beautiful colors they may be. And now it's time to leave your space of safety and relaxation. But you know that you can come back here at any time. Now that you've connected with your chakras, you know that you can connect with all of them or any individual one if in the future it feels out of sorts. And you can if you want on a daily basis, every week or month, just go in and connect with your chakras, from your root chakra to your crown chakra, and just notice what color they are, what they feel like, and whether they need to have a spin to clean them out. To see them shining brightly, all working with each other. And now it's time to come back. So in a moment, we're going to walk back up your staircase, back up those 10 stairs from one to 10. Each ascending number bringing you further back into the here and now. So if you're ready, start taking a step up the steps now. One, coming further up the stairs. Two, further up the stairs. Three, coming further up the stairs. Four, further up the stairs. Five, remembering everything of your journey and your chakras. Coming further up the stairs. Six further up the stairs seven, further up the stairs eight, coming fully back into your body, further up the stairs nine, if you need to wiggle fingers and toes, make sure you're fully back and present, all the way to the top of the stairs, 10, fully back, fully present, eyes open. And if you need to take some water and I'll just give you a moment to make sure that you're fully back and grounded.
So how was that for you? Please do feel free to comment if you want to let me know or others what your chakras look like, what they felt like, what colours they were. And please feel free to either comment publicly or you can message me. It's always wonderful to hear how your journey went. And if you have any questions or queries, again, please put them in the comments box and I will answer them for you. And I hope that you enjoyed this meditation, getting to know your chakras. And thank you so much for watching. And I would like you to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on the destiny just like you. And by working with your chakras and clearing them and getting to know them, they can really help you be present, stay focused with an idea of what you're going and where you're doing, where you're going and what you're doing. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. So just reach out and connect with me so that we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute session via Skype or Messenger to find out how I can help you. I can find out more about you. You can find out more about me and I can educate you about how I can help you take charge of your destiny. And just to let you know that um, this Friday, I will be starting a five-day meditation challenge where for 20 minutes a day, so that's from Friday to Tuesday, I will be doing five different guided meditations concentrating on five different areas of your life. It will hopefully help you take charge of your destiny and be a little bit more focused and connected. I'll put the link um, to sign up for, for this meditation challenge. It is free. It's not going to cost you anything. Um, and that link will sign you up and give you the details of where you will need to go to actually start the challenge on Friday the 31st of May. Um, every day it will take place at 7.30 p.m. UK time. Um, and I will be live um, doing that with you. And as I said, it'll be about 20 minutes um, guided meditation. So again, thank you for watching. And hopefully next week I will have Cara Melendi as my guest sharing her wisdom on awakening to your goddess power and co-creating magic in the universe. So please tune in next Wednesday at 8 p.m. UK time and I'll see you then. Thank you. Bye.